Dear Camille, let's talk about it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know what it is. You know what today is. is. It is Wellness Wednesday, which means it's another episode of Dear Camille. So what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk today about the power of accountability. So first and foremost, I want to know where you all tune in. Just drop in the chat where you're located. Would love, love, love to see who's tuned in. Make sure to share this live out to your feed. Let's get everybody understanding and excited about smashing their goals and, you know, not even just smash their goals, creating even greater goals and achieving them. And through that way of achieving them is from the accountability, what I like to call your GPS. And it gets us navigating through those times, especially in life where we feel like as if we are in traffic or we made a wrong turn or there's bumps in the road and we have a flat tire. Well, with an accountability, you're going to have somebody there say, hey, don't worry, I got you a spare tire. Oh, that traffic, let me show you another route to get around it faster. And that's the power of accountability. I'd love to hear Anybody here have an accountability coach in anything that they're doing? Drop a one and tell me with that one, what is your accountability coach in? Because you know what? There's power in accountability in so many different areas in our life, not even greater than just wellness, right? And that's why we even have, uh, I'll give an example in school when we have these tests, the whole point of the test is to test our knowledge and hold us accountable to the learning that we are receiving in that lesson right? Is did this person truly understand? And let me hold them accountable to the homework they, that I, that they were met, put to, to make, get done, right? So this is what I am all about, going to be talking about. And if you all don't know who I am, let me reintroduce myself. My name is Camille Jones, and I am the founder of We Got This Mind and Body, where I encourage your busy woman in business to truly learn to prioritize living a healthier lifestyle through key areas of wellness, such as your mindset, movement, metabolism, and maintenance, all without excessive workouts and fad diets, and truly loving the skin that you are in through my online customizable programs. And it truly is understanding that our lifestyle, our wellness is a diverse topic. It is something that is unique and individual to ourselves. And we are living in an era where, you know, it feels like as if wellness is a cookie cutter thing, (laughs) especially it seems like as if wellness is all about fitness or nutrition. When in actuality, drop in the line in, in the chat. If you know, if there's other areas of wellness that you're aware of, let's hear it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah, there's business. There is your, your relationships. There is even how you speak to yourself. That's wellness. How your children, (laughs) how you have boundaries. Let's remember that boundaries are not just in our business, not just in our relationships, but also with our children. Because if you don't have boundaries with them, they can also take you to the races. And so there's power and accountability. There's power and truly understanding that wellness is a very multi-leveled topic. It's not just about fitness. It's not just about nutrition. That's actually on step five and six right? We got to really get into loving who we are from the inside out. And that could be a huge challenge, especially because of the habits that we have created throughout our lives. And a lot of the habits that we have, we don't even realize that we're doing them or they are actually habits until we get that self-awareness or we get called out on it. And the self-awareness comes when, hey, this does not serve me any purpose anymore. Why am I doing this? right? That has to come into alignment for you to even start. Now, again, we're constantly hearing about accountability, accountability, accountability. Is it a fad? Is it something that we can do on ourselves? Like so many times I hear people saying, ah, I could just go to YouTube Versity and do everything I need to do there for free. And I say, yeah, you can, but how long is it going to take you? Do you know exactly which videos to go to? And Who's going to hold you accountable to even start those videos, to play those videos, and most importantly, take action on what those videos are teaching? That's the key right there. The accountability, 
Because we as humans, by nature, by nurture, by nature, we are creatures of habits as well as creatures of social gatherings and other forms. So we need to, you know, we learned in this pandemic, being locked in or being by ourselves, that was actually punishment. It was torture because we crave, you know, that interaction, that social, that society, that even having that one person, it doesn't, you don't need to have a crowd of people, even having that one person that's going to redirect not even going to, you know what I mean? Not going to, but is there to help you redirect those negative thoughts on yourself? Because we already know that we're born great (laughs) because we were born, but there's many a times that life is going to challenge us where we sometimes doubt our inner selves. We doubt even the, the work that we're doing. We have that passion, but that doubt does come in. And that's where the power of accountability comes. Because when that doubt comes in, that GPS goes, wait, 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 hold up. Let's redirect that thought. Let's transition that and get aligned and remember where we're going. Reminding us, giving us the tools, the directions of where we need to go. Because we are human and there's going to be times where life does challenge us. And we need to understand that our life is individual to ourselves. So there's power and accountability and that's really the key in overall wellness. It's truly a crucial component in your wellness success because it helps to keep us individuals responsible. It keeps us responsible for our actions and progress towards that goals. Like I said, it really does. It's, it, it's, it's amazing when we have a goal and let's say that we're doing this as a partner, you know, Amer- America's uh, amazing race, you know, when we're doing it, amazing race. America's, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everybody love me, <laughs> but amazing race. I mean, you see how they do it in a, in a, in a, in a twosome or in a group. And it's because we are also, again, we need to have that accountability, that support, that person to motivate us. We got this. Come on. Because our minds, our environment, our situations are going to challenge us. And as busy women in business, and especially ones, you know, I'm not even going to say especially ones. Women in business, whether we have children, we have pets, we are part of a family that does require us to have a little bit more, uh, you know, um, responsibility. We truly need to understand that accountability can bring balance in both our home, in our business, in our relationships, and in our wellness and keeps us on track with our goals. And it also ensures us that we are prioritizing everything that we said set out for ourselves, you know, holding us accountable to our goals and incorporating it into our lifestyle gradually. And that's how I do it with my clients is we gradually work it into our lifestyle so that it doesn't feel like a chore. It is feeling like as if it's a part, it's not even feeling it is a part of your routine. And again, it's greater than just fitness. Yes. You all see me here. How many of y'all have been to one of my Wednesday morning? Yeah, this morning, I was here 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with a quick little workout that I provide to the LinkedIn community, to the platform, encouraging you all to really get your bodies moving. I truly want to see us really getting excited about our overall wellness. And yes, when I said that fitness does is not the first there, I'm already past, you know, I'm not even past. I'm still, I always say we're all work in progress and masterpieces at the same time. But I also now incorporate the fitness because the fitness for me is not just for the aesthetics, for the the external fitness for me was my safe haven for my mental health. When I battled anxiety and depression, it was through moving my body and getting the great hormones, uh, you know, really heightening them, you know, the dopamine, the endorphins and really loving into my serotonin through my gut health. It all, it all comes together. And there's so many benefits of having that accountability coach, not just for the education, but also there's so much that's also for providing that support, the guidance, the motivation. I always say your why is the vehicle, right? Look at it. Think about a car. The car is your why. When you turn in the ignition, that is your motivation, right? When you press the acceleration, that's your determination, when you have your ways or your GPS, that's your accountability. And that accountability is going to get you to where you need to go and keep that momentum of that car, fuel that car with the energy, with the power to get to that destination. Anytime there's a bump in that road when you're driving, 
that GPS is going to be like, you know, construction, X, Y, Z ahead, detour, traffic, detour, accident. We don't even say that because we understand through an accident comes a correction too. So let's go. But I'll tell you something. What I've learned in this industry is that there's huge consequences of not taking accountability, having accountability in your life or especially in your overall wellness program. It's very detrimental to de excuse my English, de detrimental, you know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> to our health and our well-being. It really is without having that accountability in our lives. It is easier for us to fall back into those old habits. We are creatures. We are creatures of habits. You know, we go, we fall back into our comfort zone. The minute we get, you know, come out of it. And that's why we see a lot of trends and patterns in all different types of people in situations. You know, they could be on a high, you know, somebody who's, for instance, that may have won the, the lottery, but they haven't had any guidance or accountability or understanding of what to do with this money. So they still have those old habits, you know, even that poor, set ment poor mind mentality, and they don't know what to do with it. So it goes. Or someone who's made tons of money in their life, and then they just blow it off like that. A lot of times that happens because of old habits that we don't even know that we still hold and harbor into ourselves. So we want to release those negative or bad habits or habits that no longer serve us as we grow and as we develop. Because again, when we fall back into our bad habits, what do we tend to do as humans? We blame everything else without even realizing that it was our own work because we don't even have the understanding that our mindset, our self-awareness, and even especially our motivation, which is really our inspiration, is what drives us, is what makes us truly uh, you know, successful in whatever we do. It's not the programs. It's usually the work behind it and also the accountability. That's what I do. I'm an accountability coach. I am everything about loving into who you are, celebrating your own journey, understanding that wellness comes through your self-awareness and aligning it with the things that you desire and doing the work. Doing the work is key. And I do a ton of diverse activities for us to truly understand the power of the accountability incorporated into our own individual goals. And this is why there's power in having a wellness a program and what I do, because it is individually tailored to the things that, that work, that are into your own lifestyle and that you need that are actually measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based, you know, those smart goals. It is crucial for us to have these open conversations too. When you have an accountability coach, be vulnerable, be humble, and be powerful in everything that you are saying, because as you are growing and as you are learning, you're building into yourself. You're building up that courage to speak up for yourself. You're building the confidence about really understanding that the beauty is not, is really skin deep, right? So as an accountability coach, what do I do? I get cut, asked that all the time. Cause again, everybody always thinks, Oh, Camille, all you just do is fitness, right? That's what you do. <laughs> There's more. And the real meat of who I am and what I do with, we got this is that accountability. It's keeping you responsible for your actions for towards the progress of your goals. It's about providing that support and understanding that is tailored to you and guidance so you can achieve these goals. Now, I, how many of you all right now have a wellness, a wellness plan? I would love to know. Who has a wellness plan? Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. No one, no one. Well, that's why you got to contact me. It is time. You know, I've been on this, this platform for quite a bit now. Well, since October and really spreading the power of wellness. And it's time for a lot of us to start taking the action. So many of us listen and say, oh, I relate. I get it. They, you may even be inspired for a day or two, but the reason it doesn't stay there is because who's holding you accountable for those days where you're like, ah, maybe tomorrow, <laughs> maybe next week. Because we all know procrastination is opportunities assassination. And so we need to make sure we're not assassinating our own goals by our own actions. So there's a great way that we, like for myself, what I do with some of my clients is some of my clients require check-ins, weekly check-ins, some are court or monthly, but the check-in is, is something that is incorporated to how you all also want it. Is it a, is it a, 
Zoom call, a phone call? Is it something that we to um, converse over the our, our texting? But it's all about really having opportunity to provide feedback, support, and celebrate those small wins. Celebrate the successes that you don't even see. Because you know what? It's the celebration that we receive that really is the motivation that gets us to keep going, that momentum, that, that the fuel to the fire. So you want to make sure that when we're doing these check-ins that we're also celebrating. It could be even as much as getting up five minutes earlier than you did last week. Celebrate it. Understand that through the celebration and understanding that the work is all, there's progress in the progress, as I like to say, and you're seeing it. Trust me when I say you see it because when the C comes through that belief, through that inner and really understanding that a lot of the goals you thought you have right now, are they? Or do we need to dig deeper and get a more clarity and have a more definitive purpose, a deeper why than just because it's summer or because you have a wedding or a vacation? We got to stop that. We need to stop comparing ourselves to who we were 20 years ago or keeping up with the filters online or the social media Joneses. Let's not do that. We also need to understand that our bodies are diverse. And a lot of the information that we do read and see from YouTube University or on Google.com is a lot is really one-sided based on one type of body structure or even the culture. Because even our culture, cultural background may have an impact on our body shapes, the types of foods that work with us, the versus what doesn't work with us in terms of how our body digests it. So we need to understand that diversity is important for us to incorporate into our wellness because we are all diverse in everything that we do in life. So let's stop feeling like as if we need to be that cookie cutter fitness or, uh, you know, I got to say that fitness. It just, oh, oh, I love fitness. Let me tell you, but I just cannot. (laughs) Sorry, this is me peeps. Why am I saying sorry? This is me peeps. I always keep it real, but you know, I cannot stress it enough about just taking that action on you, getting those wellness plans in place and really contacting me. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Wellness is not just fitness. Wellness is definitely not dieting. Take off that tea. What you got, right? We're not about, we're not here. We're not about to be dying off of anything that we don't want to, right? We are about truly understanding that food that food for our individual bodies. Cause I'm telling y'all what works for me may not work for you and vice versa. But when we work together to decipher what works for yourself, what loves into you, and it does take time. It does take practice, but what it takes the most is action. Yes. I talk about it a lot. Absolutely. And I'll continue to be an advocate for action because we need, we are all here born to live the best life that we want and desire. And we must stop allowing the physical distractions of this world, the, 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 the resistance of our mindsets, of our fight and flight mentalities to prevent us, limit us, hold us back from that beautiful life that we all truly, truly deserve. So, I love coming to you every Wednesday. I have my dear Camille segment and it's truly a great, great, great opportunity for not only y'all to meet me and see me experience who I am, but also for you to take action, click the link. Let's just have a conversation. Let's talk about it. What is it going to cost you more knowledge? Hello. Give me, give me more. Let's do this. So let's take the vow today that let's, Get to start working on our wellness. I have a great, amazing, individually tailored program called 90 Days of Love and the Skin that you are in. I challenge you. I challenge you. And I'm so excited to be right beside you as you progress in this amazing thing we call life because you are worth it. I am worth it. We are worth it. So, Thank you all for rocking with me this Wellness Wednesday in another segment of Dear Camille. Let's talk about it. And I'm super excited to see you all in these LinkedIn streets, but even more excited, stoked, empowered to actually have that conversation with you, to get you started and get you going and motivated and inspired 
inspired through accountability, through support, action, and our wins, our daily wins, we will achieve all that we desire. Mind, body, soul, spirit, business, relationship, everything, peace. For me, it's all about that peace, protecting that peace. And I didn't even understand what peace was for my inner. I always thought peace, you know, peace in the Middle East. It just was about war. But the war that I was really battling, I had no idea about, was within me. And when I've won that war and created that peace, mm, I am now that advocate to show you that you two got this as well. Until next week, stay connected. Give me a call. You got this. We got this. Now let's go. Have a great one, all.